Yeah, my dad in the street against a heavyweight. I've gone back to the dad. I've punched him a few more times. Five blokes outside my front door. You coming out? One hell of a fucking story. So stay tuned. Um, I'm at IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast in Manchester. Just spoke to Frank and he agreed. Uh, one of the best heavyweight fights he's seen. I'm sure you agree with that, Ben. Incredible. Both guys. I mean, the crowd loved it. That's what we wanted to do. We wanted a 50-50 fight. We knew it was going to be tough. But these are the fights that have to happen. And uh, so proud of Joseph. Uh, I thought he was going to... The eighth was where I thought he could go. And he, and he just kept going. And been incredible with him. I think he's had an amazing camp. Um, he did everything he could with Andy Lee. He did come in heavier. He thought, you know what, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to trade with Joe Joyce. It's tough. He's a robot, but so proud of him, man. He's an incredible guy. He took a lot of punishment. So did Joe Joyce, in fairness. Incredible fight, and it ended how it ended. But, um, yeah, amazing, amazing night, amazing fight. Is he OK? Yeah, 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 he's good. He's going he's gonna to have a few checks now. But he's in good spirits. I think uh, he just did a prayer with his parents and everything like that. It was nice, and... Uh, He's a good guy and he'll come again and obviously it's disappointing for him. He really thought he was gonna he was gonna win tonight. Um, he traded with a guy that is hard to trade with. He's like a robot and he just keeps coming forward and forward and forward and he took a lot of shots and a lot of punishment. I think he was up after six. All the, I spoke to the judges after he was up after six rounds and we always knew Joyce was gonna come on strong late. And uh, yeah, just an incredible fight and as I say, for him to survive the eighth and keep coming and keep coming and then maybe nick to the ninth and the tenth or he's definitely in it. What a guy and uh, what a fight. I know the worst case scenario for Joseph uh, and yourself tonight would have been a loss and a poor performance, but I think his stock has gone up, surely, Ben. 100%. Look at, I just saw Derek, he, he, was, he was speaking to Joseph, he was like, I've lost 12 times, Joseph, and I'm still here. That's what boxing needs to change. It's not about losses. You can lose and still be a star and still come again. And that's where the sport needs to get to. I said that to Mr. Parker. You have just given a serious account of yourself against a serious guy that can take a lot of punishment. Maybe the game plan wasn't right, but you still went in there and you show what you're made of. And he'll get big fights now and he'll get big money and he'll get more opportunities. And that's what the sport is about. And that's why we wanted to take this fight. As you said, a serious ballsy performance from your guy yeah. against now, do we have to consider Joe Joyce an elite heavyweight? I think so, just because you can't take that much punishment. Or you can't, the way he takes shots is like no one else in the division. And he just keeps coming and he keeps coming. Yes, maybe Joseph could have you know, boxed smarter. Maybe he could have boxed him. Maybe he could have, he could have gone down a different route. But he's going to be hard to beat Joe Joyce. And not many fighters are going to want to fight him. So, yeah, fair play to him. And uh, he, another really nice guy and deserves it. And uh, yeah, it was, a, it was a good knockout in the end. Lastly, Ben, obviously Joseph's going to have a rest up and some time with his family. Uh, but what are you planning in your mind for him next? Look, I, I think he needs to rest. But he was saying, look, what have we got next? He wants to fight again. He's a fighter. He wants to come again. And, and we'll see, obviously. He'll have his checks now over the next week or two. But there's some big fights for him there. He's proved himself tonight again to be a warrior. There's some big fights in the UK. And I think he'll, he'll be back very soon. Thank you, mate. Top man. Yeah, my dad in the street against a heavyweight. I've gone back to the dad. I've punched him a few more times. Five blokes outside my front door. You coming out? One hell of a fucking story. So stay tuned.